Welcome to West Haven, Connecticut, Veterans Memorial Park, also known as the Nike site, for an absolutely beautiful day on the last day of April. It is Saturday, April 30th, 2022, and we've got semi-professional football in the Independent Football Association between the New York Crusaders and the Connecticut Falcons. The Crusaders are winless in conference this year, having lost to the New York Patriots and the New England Bearcats. They've also lost two interleague games to teams from the National Public Safety Football League, the New York Police Department, NYPD's finest, and the New York Corrections Department, NYCD's boldest. And on the other side, you got the Connecticut Falcons, who are 2-0 in conference with wins over Queens Huskies and the New York Patriots. So, on paper, this appears to be a lopsided matchup, because I know the Connecticut Falcons are coming off a of bye week, so they should be well-rested and ready to go. And I know they're going to want to come out scoring a lot of points and move up the power rankings. But the Crusaders will have other things in mind and look for the upset, so that's why we play the game. I'm looking forward to it. I hope, uh, I hope I don't miss any plays. Thanks for watching, and let's go check it out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Once again, special teams for the Connecticut Falcons comes through by recovering the opening kickoff. Another onside kick recovery. The Crusaders just stood around watching it. It's going to be first down and 10 for the Falcons in great field position to start this game. So you got Devine Jackson back at quarterback, Morris Hilton Jr. in the backfield. Jackson back to pass. Looking for Quan Bro Mel. It looked like he may have made a great catch. It is good. That is a fingertip catch for a touchdown. Devine Jackson to Quan Bro Mel on the second play from scrimmage. And just like that, the Falcons are up 6-0, pending the extra point.
Christ-like. So they're saying it's an illegal forward pass. He was past the line of scrimmage when he released the ball to loss it down. It'll be third down and long for the Crusaders. Sorry about that. Williamson back there making a good defensive play for the Falcons. Let's go, Parkins! Is there anyone else? 
Can he get in? What's the call? I got, I, no, they're saying he was just short of, or did he get in? If he did, that's Morris Hilton Jr. Good, 14 nothing Falcons. Sorry. Was that a three point or was that a touchdown? Yeah, I wasn't sure. I was looking for a signal, but I, I may have missed it. But uh, that was Morris Hilton Jr. with a four yard run.
personal foul against the Falcons. So that's going to move the uh, Crusaders up even more. First down. That's Kenny Reed, running chains, the former Falcon. Snap, and that's going to be a turnover. Turnover on downs anyway. Falcons to take over.
Big tackle for a loss in the backfield. Number 22, the Crusaders. That's going to be a sack for the Crusaders. Another big defensive play. It's going to bring up fourth down. That's going to be a penalty running into the kicker, or roughing the kicker. That's going to be on my first down for the Falcons. That is Maz Santana of the nice run. Takes us to the end of the first quarter. Connecticut Falcons lead 14 to nothing. Nice catch by Mike Rapuano Jr.
Johnson past the fullback, Maz Santana, who picks up the first down. Inside handoff, another big hit. The fullback to Santana again. Devine Jackson back to pass. It's going deep. Wide open. That's a 33 yard touchdown pass. Is it Quan Bromel? It is Quan Bromel. Second touchdown of the game. This one a 33 yard pass from Devine Jackson.
lost the play, sorry. I lost the play. That was a seven yard loss, it'll be second down and 17. And now that's delayed game called on the Crusaders. Back them up five, second down and 22. Nice defensive play by Malik Williamson. Time out, Crusaders. Another special teams miscue, and the Falcons are going to get this ball in great field position once again in the red zone. Crusaders having all sorts of trouble on special teams.
to tackle for a loss. Looks like Eric W. Jr. at the catch there. So they're going to give it a try for a field goal. Looks like about a 26, you know, I'm not going to back them up here. So 26 yard field goal is now going to become a 31 yard field goal attempt. Maybe a 32 yard field goal attempt. Here we go. It's a fake. Oh. That's not going to work out too well for the Falcons. Crusaders will take over. Still pretty deep in their own territory. Oh, man. 
I think it's going to be roughing the passer. Yeah, personal foul roughing the passer. It's going to be 15 yards automatic first down. That ball looked like it was deflected. I'm not really sure who deflected it. But I gotta give a shout out to Mike Smith, number six there on the line. Two weeks ago, I had a really big blocked pass for the Falcons in the Bronx against the New York Patriots, which led to an interception. It happened so fast, I didn't catch who blocked it or deflected it. So there's a little shout out to him. There's a blocked punt right there. I'm not sure who got in. Might have been Michael Smith. What's this talking about? It's 
So speaking of Michael Smith, I think he just got, I think he did get in there and get a, get his hand on the ball. So there's your shout out, Mike Smith. Still gets it off. Actually gets a couple yards out of it. That's a first down completion to Carlos Lido Vargas. On third down and nine. I believe that was about a 17-yard completion from Divine Jackson to Carlos Lito Vargas. Plenty of uh, plenty of yards for a first down. Divine Jackson keeps himself, picks up about three yards, maybe four. Clock's running. And it's gonna stop an injured player on the field. Actually, I think they, somebody called a timeout. He's got an opening receiver, that's good. Touchdown, Connecticut Falcons get another touchdown right before halftime. 
I'm trying to see who that is. It might be Jason Atterbury. If it is, it's a 15 yard touchdown pass from Divine Jackson. I think that's Atterbury. Extra point is blocked. It'll be 27 and nothing for the Falcons. Yeah, that was Jason Atterbury with the touchdown catch. Like a personal foul, maybe? Personal foul against the Falcons. But that's going to take us to halftime. Now it appears they're going to play out the final, what, 10 seconds or so? So the personal foul against the Falcons will be assessed right now on the uh, kickoff. reached halftime I know the Falcons want to make a statement by scoring a lot of points well so far they've lived up to that uh, lived up to it it's 27 nothing Connecticut Falcons lead the New York Crusaders at halftime
Nice return, about a 35 yard return, roughly. Looks like Mike Rapuano Jr., Michael. Carlos Atterbury with 16 yard gain. First and 10 from the 14. That is a hard run by Morris Hilton Jr. Takes it down about the one yard line. 13 yard gain. 
I'd be a little bit surprised if he didn't, uh, if he didn't finish it off here. Correction down to the five yard line. Second down and one. Play action pass, that's a touchdown to Eric Dudley Jr. And there's the toe tap and two step and dance. And he's gonna get called for unsportsmanlike conduct for celebrating like that. It'll probably be assessed in the kickoff. No, yeah, Nick's only going to assess it on the conversion. Catch! Signal is good! That's Quan Bromel with the two point conversion. So it's 35 to nothing, Falcons. Looks like they called unsportsmanlike conduct. 
against the Falcons. That is Ray Patton Jr. with some, a serious message for those fellow teammates. That was fourth down, so it's a turnover on downs, Falcon ball.
It's uh, Jason Atterbury again with the catch. Should be enough for a first down. Wide open, and he makes a nice move, and he's gone, 58 yards, touchdown pass, Devine Jackson to Quan Bromel for his third touchdown of the game, and I believe that's Devine Jackson's fifth touchdown pass of the game, three of them to Quan Bromel, one of them to Atterbury, and one of them to Eric Dudley Jr. This one goes for 58 yards. No good, but the score is 41 nothing, Falcons. That's going to take us to the end of the third quarter. We got the Connecticut Falcons continue to pitch a shutout. 41 0 over the New York Crusaders. Looks like it's gonna be offside on the Falcons. No, false start. False start on the offense.
offside on the Falcons. That is intercepted by the Falcons. He's going to take it across midfield. And there goes Santana with another big run, the fullback. Got a new quarterback in the game, and he gets sacked. Now 
Now it's going to be a turnover on down, so the Crusaders will take over. Sorry, I kind of missed that play there. Not sure what happened there. Maybe a pass interference, I don't know. Waiting for the call. Well, maybe they already maybe they already made the call. Oh, jeez, was that Michael Smith? Michael Smith with the sack, I think. Sorry about that. I'm telling you, when there's a flock of Falcons like that, it's really hard to find out who gets credit for the sack. This may be the last play of the game, who knows. Little reverse. Oh, 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 oh,
That's probably going to end the game. Now, Crusaders called timeout, so they will get one more play, at least. So this should be the last play of the game. Ball's on the 32-yard line, maybe. 33, 32. Boom! Oh my goodness. So that's an exclamation mark to end the game. Right there. The Connecticut Falcons wanted to make a statement, and boy did they ever, with a 41 0 shutout victory of the New York Crusaders. And that is one way to put a stamp and a finish to this game by Michael Rapuato Jr. Holy smokes. And there's your statement victory. The Connecticut Falcons shut out the New York Crusaders 41 to nothing. That should help their power rankings. And that is going to do it for tonight. Thank you for watching. Drive home safely. And uh, have a great night. Thank you.